1978, a film emerged that would not only stir controversy, but also prompt critical discussions on the boundaries of cinematic storytelling. I spit on your grave traversed uncharted territory, pushing the envelope with its intense narrative and challenging themes. The film raises intriguing questions about the industry's norms and societal reception of art. Are there lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? As we delve into the realm of this cult classic, it's essential to acknowledge the raw impact it had on audiences and cinematic landscapes alike. The narrative unfolds in a manner that compels viewers to question the thin line between artistic expression and societal taboos. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Now, let's shed light on some random facts that might add a layer of fascination to your understanding of the film. Did you know that the movie initially faced severe backlash for its explicit content, leading to debates about censorship and artistic freedom? The controversies surrounding its release continue to echo through time, cementing its status as a landmark in the annals of cinema. Your turn, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Engage in the dialogue, share your perspectives, and let the tapestry of experiences surrounding I Spit on Your Grave unravel. It's a film that goes beyond its screen time, sparking conversations that endure through the years. I Spit on Your Grave, a controversial 1978 film directed by Mayor Zarchai delves into the harrowing tale of Jennifer Hills, a writer who retreats to a remote cabin for solitude but becomes the victim of a brutal assault by a group of local men. Seeking revenge, Jennifer turns the tables on her assailants in a gruesome and unflinching display of retribution. The film's narrative explores themes of justice, empowerment, and the dark side of human nature. Known for its graphic and explicit content, the movie sparked intense debates about the portrayal of violence on screen with critics both condemning and applauding its bold approach. Despite its initial notoriety and controversy, I Spit on Your Grave has endured as a cult classic within the horror genre. Jennifer Hills, portrayed by Camille Keaton, became an iconic character, embodying both vulnerability and strength. The film's unapologetic style, combined with its exploration of societal taboos, has left a lasting impact on the horror genre and inspired discussions about the representation of violence in cinema. Its influence on subsequent films and the ongoing dialogue surrounding exploitation and revenge narratives in popular culture solidify its place in the annals of film history. Camille Keaton, who portrayed Jennifer Hills in the 1978 film I Spit on Your Grave, rejects claims of misogyny associated with the movie. In a 2019 statement, she emphasized the film's inspiration from real events, where Mayor Zarchai rescued a molested woman. Keaton contends that the film, rather than being exploitative, empowers women by addressing a harsh reality one in five women in the United States experiencing molestation. According to her, the film's raw portrayal serves as a bold statement on a pervasive issue often overlooked. Keaton further criticizes the film's censorship, arguing that it sheds light on a real problem while other explicit content is easily accessible on the internet. For her, art, even when provocative, has the potential to awaken societal awareness. The production of the 1978 movie I Spit on Your Grave faced notable challenges that underscored the intense nature of its content. During the filming of a pivotal scene, a crew member decided to quit, unable to endure further exposure to the escalating violence depicted. Simultaneously, the film's makeup artist, who had been a victim of gang molestation, also left halfway through the production, finding it too distressing to relive the horror of her own attacks. Additionally, the movie encountered hurdles with the Motion Picture Association of America. Initially rejected due to its overall violence, the film underwent multiple submissions, each met with rejection. It finally gained approval only after Mayor Zarchai removed all references to anal rape highlighting the stringent censorship standards imposed on the film. These behind-the-scenes struggles shed light on the uncompromising nature of I Spit on Your Grave, revealing the film's commitment to pushing boundaries and addressing uncomfortable realities. The departures of crew members and the challenges with censorship speak to the controversial and provocative nature of the movie, reinforcing its status as a film that dared to tackle difficult subject matter head-on. 
the 1978 movie I Spit on Your Grave, originally released as Day of the Woman, faced a lackluster reception at the box office. In 1980, distributor Jerry Gross rebranded it as I Spit on Your Grave, drawing attention from critics Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel, who actively campaigned against films depicting women in peril. Notably, the film lacks a traditional soundtrack. Despite director Mayer Zarchai's intention to include music, he struggled to find suitable pieces. The absence of a conventional soundtrack underscores the film's raw and unflinching nature. Instead, the only musical elements are the church organ, a snippet from a Giacomo Puccini record, incidental store background music, and occasional riffs from Johnny's harmonica. This unique approach to sound, or the lack thereof, adds to the film's distinctiveness. The decision to forego a typical soundtrack aligns with the overall uncompromising nature of I Spit on Your Grave, emphasizing its commitment to pushing boundaries and addressing uncomfortable realities. In exploring these faced films rebranding, the absence of a conventional soundtrack and its reception by influential critics we gain deeper insights into I Spit on Your Grave's provocative and controversial status within the cinematic landscape. Filmed under the working title Day of the Woman, I Spit on Your Grave emerged as a 1978 cinematic endeavor directed by Mare Zarchai. This controversial film, later rebranded for its 1980 re-release, also went by alternative titles such as I Hate Your Guts and The Rape and Revenge of Jennifer Hill. Despite Zarchai's initial reluctance towards the title I Spit on Your Grave, it played a pivotal role in transforming the movie into a controversial success. Zarchai now insists on attaching the subtitle Aka Day of the Woman to all promotional materials. The screenplay, a creation of Zarchai, unfolded over four months, with the director piecing it together during his daily commute. This rapid development laid the foundation for the intense and unapologetic narrative that the film would eventually showcase. The choice of title, the quick screenplay development, and the subsequent controversies surrounding the movie set the stage for an exploration of its provocative and impactful journey. Interestingly, the movie's impact extended beyond its controversial narrative. In late 1980, the same locations witnessed the filming of Friday the 13th Part 2 adding a unique layer to the history of these settings. The rebranded title, initially disliked by Zarchai, played a crucial role in drawing attention and contributing to the film's legacy within the realm of controversial cinema. In summary, the 1978 film I Spit on Your Grave, initially conceived as Day of the Woman, underwent a transformation through its titles, from I Hate Your Guts to The Rape and Revenge of Jennifer Hill. Mayor Zarchai's rapid screenplay development and subsequent controversies surrounding the film set the stage for its enduring impact. The shared filming locations with Friday the 13th Part 2 in late 1980 further connect the movie to the broader landscape of horror cinema. As we bid adieu to the haunting narrative of I Spit on Your Grave, let the echoes of its intensity resonate within you. This cinematic masterpiece from 1978 has woven a tapestry of emotions, challenging perceptions, and stirring the depths of our souls. As you navigate through the labyrinth of this riveting tale, take a moment to unravel the threads that connect you to its profound impact. Reflect on the visceral reactions it evoked, the heart-pounding suspense that gripped you, or the profound discomfort that left an indelible mark. I Spit on Your Grave isn't just a film, it's a visceral experience that transcends the boundaries of conventional storytelling. Now, dear reader, the spotlight turns to you. What memories does this cinematic gem conjure for you? Share your thoughts, your reflections, and let the communal heartbeat of this powerful narrative echo in our collective consciousness. Your perspective adds another layer to the intricate canvas of interpretations surrounding this iconic film. In this shared exploration of cinematic depths, your voice becomes a part of the dialogue, a dialogue that spans across time, connecting enthusiasts and aficionados alike. Reach out, engage, and let the world know how I spit on your grave has left an indelible imprint on your cinematic journey. Thank you for embarking on this introspective voyage with us. Your time and musings are treasures that enrich the narrative of this timeless classic. Until our paths cross again, may the echoes of I Spit on Your Grave continue to resonate within you.